This video is to warn you against listening to somewhat bigger YouTubers and trusting their fake word. I'm exposing one of them today. Let's go. The saddest part is that until I discovered this, I looked up to this woman who lied to my face and yours as well. I don't know about you, but I don't like being lied to. I take it very personally, especially if I watch someone's videos to get an insight on a hella expensive piece of jewelry and she's talking about a fake. Hi guys, this is Sibylla Miraj. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for those of you who subscribed. And if you haven't already, please do. We mainly talk designer, luxury, fine jewelry, and we deep dive every time into the details, nooks and crannies of our favorite pieces. So subscribe and hit the notification bell because I post twice or three times every week. The reason I even know about this channel is because I recently stumbled upon one of her videos about a magic pendant in Malachite. She also spoke about a magic pendant in Mother of Pearl and White Gold, which is a shorter version of a regular magic Alhambra pendant. In that video, she was also misinforming her viewers that Van Cleef Mother of Pearl is very different from fake Mother of Pearl in the way that Van Cleef's Mother of Pearl is not wavy and is very flat. And if it's wavy, then it's a fake, which is completely untrue. This woman had the audacity to call Van Cleef's wavy mother of pearl fake. Wearing a fake guilloche five motif bracelet in her most recent video. She also mentioned that some people just want to get the look for less, which is fine in her book, but more on that in just a sec. If you, like myself, have been shopping with Van Cleef and her pals for a while, you know that you can get your mother of pearl as flat or as wavy as your heart desires. Literally as flat or as wavy as you want. They're a natural formation. This one is the rainbowy one. This is my favorite one. So they are all very different in a 10 motif. They match color-wise, but they're all very different. That's the real Mother of Pearl from Van Cleef and Arpel for you guys. You can have it as pink, green, purple, peachy, rainbowy, like one of mine on my tan motif, as you want. The world is literally your oyster. Oyster. Get it? You might need to wait a little bit, but letting your essay know what you're after will make your dream mother of pearl come true for you. And saying that her neighbor or her aunt or a cousin has a vintage mother of pearl pendant that she always swims in a pool with and it's been perfectly fine is almost spiteful because it is suggesting that you could do so as well and it is 100% going to ruin your precious necklace you worked very hard for. Unless her cousin has a fake and it runs in the family, <laughs> plastic pearls don't get damaged in the pool. A while back, she showed a photo of a guilloche bracelet from a boutique. The real deal. I counted the lines of the pattern on it. You can see the mother of pearl bracelet right next to it has a tag. That was her trying it on. She said she fell in love with it and a few months after she got it. She also included the shots of the fake she acquired. And here is a close up of the same fake, which is not very smart on her part, from her most recent video, where you clearly can count the lines of the pattern and if you own a real guilloche piece, you know that it is very hard to count all of them. But I tried. Hers has 11, mine has 19. It is almost impossible to count the lines under the prawns because there are so many 
but on her piece there is one coming down from each prawn very visible all of them are countable not all of the screenshots are good quality that i took but you can clearly count all of the lines of the pattern even if the quality is bad when i saw that video today that was the last drop because i knew she had a fake after that video so i did not watch her videos but I saw the updated jewelry collection and I had to click on it because I saw the guilloche bracelet on the thumbnail and there it was, the close-up of the fake. So I called my partner and he said that it wasn't even a good fake because he bought my pieces with me in the boutique. And the reason why I'm so obsessed with the guilloche line, it's because it's his favorite and my white guilloche bracelet, which is my favorite piece, is also his favorite piece. So I'm no expert, this is all allegedly. I'm not stating this as a fact. I am not a jeweler for Van Cleef, but I would like for you to voice your opinion and make me feel like I am not overthinking or getting into it too deep because what if every guilloche piece is different? I have white guilloche pendant, yellow guilloche and diamond five motif bracelet and white guilloche five motif bracelet and all of the motifs on my pieces are the same. So it's 17 lines but if you count the ones that are closer to the prawns, you get 19. But if you don't count the lines from under the prawns, you get 11 on her and 17 on mine. And I feel like I'm being modest because if I move slightly closer to the prawns, I get 19 and hers within that space still has 11. So in my opinion, hers isn't even a good fake. And because I'm no expert, unless I see an obvious bad fake, I can't speak for the rest of her pieces, but I wonder how many she's been using to create some of her most popular content. So getting back to her saying that it's okay to buy fakes if you want the look for less. Where is the disclaimer then? You're showcasing a fake and there's nothing to be ashamed of. Why should there be a disclaimer, you ask? Why? Because knowing she buys fakes, we would take her reviews of jewelry with a grain of salt. Don't we need more transparency in this world nowadays? I see girls wearing fakes all over LA, some good, some bad, but they don't use them for content creating, calling them real, deceiving you and me. In my modest opinion, if you have a platform, these things should be disclosed. But again, who am I to decide? She unfortunately isn't the only YouTuber who showcases fakes for views, but the other ones are smaller, so I wasn't sure whether you were gonna know who they were, so I didn't include them in the same video. Just be careful about who you listen to and trust. Of course, for entertainment purposes, everyone who's interesting is worth watching, but that should be it. I, for example, wouldn't sleep at night talking about something I don't know and at the same time misleading you. And when I get a comment asking me for advice, I reply with caution for your future happiness and content with your peace. But I've learned my lesson. Not everyone cares to influence with a clear conscience. I had to vent, I had to spill whatever was bothering me. No hate intended, no pun intended. This is for entertainment purposes only. Everything in this video is alle alleged right? <laughs> so I am no expert. This is just something that stood out to me like a sore thumb and I decided to address it. I am addressing that specific issue I had with two of the videos only. Surprisingly, no disclaimer in those videos. So you let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you even know who this person is. And I really hope that only my hardcore fanatics of jewelry watch this video because I don't want anybody coming after me and saying that buying fakes is okay because I'm not saying it is not. That is not the point of this video. If you missed it, sorry. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting or entertaining, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, even negative comments, please leave them down below. We do not judge, we just want to learn and I will see you Friday. Bye guys. You can clearly see that in between the hinges, there's about five of the little lines in dense that reflect light. So there is no way you can count because how do you decide when the clover leaf starts and where it ends? It is not that easy because of how many of these little lines the pattern has 
but I counted and it is 19 approximately versus 11 again I need a magnifying glass and it's still not that easy to count all of them so don't listen to fake youtubers who are buying fakes for the sake of views and pretending like it's the real deal you might as well review a fake because there are lots of people out there who want to look for less which you clearly are getting just letting you know guys this is a real guilloche pattern